took a nice break from YouTube. A lot has happened since then, but let's just, you know, we'll, we'll dive into that later. But if you're new here, my name is Mia the Boss. This channel was formerly known as Diary of a Fashionista. It's been quite some time since I've been on YouTube, okay? But due to popular demand and you all are asking me, you wanna see some vlogs. So I'm gonna be vlogging my life Hopefully we can do weekly, but I'm gonna tell y'all bi-weekly. Mm. So as you saw in my cute little montage, I went to Trader Joe's and I went to Target. Mm -hmm. I made a breakfast burrito. It was so good. Mm -hmm. So, I was influenced and I saw this on Instagram and I saw it was on TikTok. So y'all already know I really love the poppy sodas anyway. So I wanted to try, you know, the combination. So I took two of these and, um, but I'm gonna start over tomorrow by taking two of these and then drinking the poppy. Because I went to the gym this morning and I drank Celsius. Plus I like these to be cold, so I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator. But um, Target had them for two for four dollars, so I got eight. But I'm just working on my gut health anyway. You feel me? Um, so yeah. So I'm gonna finish eating breakfast. Ah, uh, baby, let's do that. Maybe if you come, you come to your senses. Organize food party. Think me with your friends and sister the best. I'm a big book of you, no need to fight. Yeah, I'm free my mind. So make you no know the divide. Never seen a girl like you, we get design. Me, I don't see the sign. Man, no go feel resign. Yeah. Ah, keep on bumping, keep on rocking. Pass on my, keep on rocking. Me and you, we get something to know. Keep on bumping, keep on rocking. Pass on my, keep on rocking. Me and you, we get something to know. Yeah, all the girls on my neck like that. But I'm sorry, I don't get their time. But I'm back. Um, yeah, so you all saw me come home. I went to the gym this morning. I didn't record that, you know, as I get back assimilated to YouTube and doing like these weekly vlogs, which is something that I've never done before. I'll get more comfortable with filming my workouts. Um, my trainer, she was supposed to meet me this morning, but like the storm knocked out her power and I ended up working out by myself, which was great. Um, cause I still held myself accountable 
low-key thing. But um, after I left the gym, I had to go to the post office, drop off some packages for Shop Me's Closet, check my P.O. Box, <sighs> get gas because your girl was riding around on E. Then I wanted to make a breakfast burrito, I went to Trader Joe's, and then before that I went to Target. And I'll show you guys the stuff I got from Target um, and more in depth and talk about it because, you know, I was influenced by TikTok. But um, I am fresh out the shower. I wash my face in the shower. I've been using um, Urban Skin Solutions again. And right now I'm on my cycle. So I have like some really weird whiteheads. But I'm going to brush my teeth first. And then I'm going to do my skincare. And we can chit chat and talk about where I've been. But, um, yeah, I use Arm & Hammer Complete Care and the charcoal toothbrushes. Ciao, this is the best shit ever. You know you ain't supposed to rinse your mouth after you um you put in this. My dentist's like you washing away all the good stuff. I like soap in my ear. <sighs> I feel so good, but now I need to do like my little skincare stuff so we can really get into it I'm not wearing no lashes right now I, I feel so free like I could really wash my face um, I, I had got three fills with that set and I had got that set before I went to London believe it or not and um so I had got that set like January 24th, chow. <sighs> but my lashes are pretty strong. Um, they're healthy. That's all that matters. But um, this is the toner that I use from Good Molecules. I suffer from hyperpigmentation. So yeah, just put some on a cotton pad and go in a windshield wiper motion. Y'all, I have a braid down right now on, um, yeah, my braids, I look like, I, man, I just look like I've been, um, I look like one of my ancestors. Let's just put it like that. So yeah, I'm on my cycle and I hate it. I'm a crybaby and I get random breakouts, but let's just pray that my skin does not betray me this go around because I'm trying to clear all this up. All right, so after we do that, let's let this dry for a little bit. But yeah, I'm super excited to be vlogging again, sharing my life and my, my world with you all. Um, yeah, so of course, you know, my channel was founded upon doing um i was documenting my weight loss journey but baby that was back in 2016. we're gonna go on with the discoloration serum i love this stuff and you know as i've grown evolved matured it's just time for me to, you know, weight loss is something that I still am passionate about, but I just don't want my brand identity to be about weight loss surgery. I have achieved so much since 2016, and that's what I want to share with you all. You dig? <laughs> okay, so. I saw y'all on Twitter talking about black girl sunscreen. I haven't had anything happen. I got the um, the Make It Matte Gel and I, I like it. Uh, 
so I always call Mondays me of the boss Mondays because this is my day where I get productive I make it happen for myself um, so we got something super cool that we're doing today um, yeah still got to go on with some moisturizer so my friend Tammy my longtime friend she has a podcast on um, iHeartRadio called We Talk Back, her and her co-host, AJ. And Tammy asked me, she's like, yo, you want to be on my podcast? And I was like, okay, like, you know, what is it going to be about? Because, ooh, y'all, I took some of the moisturizer that was on the cap. I think it got, okay. But she wants to talk about plus size dating and um i guess there was an interview that someone did with the girl from that love after lockup show and i was like you know what i would love to just shed some positive light on my experiences as a plus size woman and dating and just you know a lot of the stigmas stereotypes pros and cons of all of that so yeah um, so that, I have to be there at five o'clock. So I am about to clean my room. You saw me clean the kitchen and the living room. And then I am going to, um, I gotta film some stuff for Fashion Nova. And then I need to handle some business for some pretty little thing stuff. So I need to like do some emails real quick. I need to post today too. But I also need to film my try on hauls for my Instagram stories. Um, I need to post for Fashion Nova. And then I need to get ready. Well, first I have to get ready first. So I'm just rambling. But um, I'm gonna check back in with y'all in a second. I wanna clean my room skin's looking really good hydrated this is glowing oh well, i need to moisturize my skin too but yeah be back so um right now we are about to film see i got my little tripod and my phone so we're about to film um my try on hauls for fashion of curb so yeah just real simple Hey Fashionistas, welcome back to another Instagram story try on haul featuring some cute pieces from the one and only Fashion Over Curve. And yeah, let's hop right into it. This is my outfit of the day. I absolutely love this bodysuit cami. It's ribbed with the cute little spaghetti straps, a little action in the back, you know, a little mm hmm. All right, you guys. <laughs> Hey girls, so I am in the car. I'm driving to the 85 South Studio, which is on the south side. I don't know why I thought it was like going towards Lawrenceville or something, which is like north of Atlanta. Yeah, let me go. Anyways, um, I got my little melt band on because I need my baby hairs to be lit and popping. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go film this podcast like I was talking to you all about earlier. Um, I definitely need to get some type of something so I don't have to hold my camera. Um, like I need a mount for sure. But, um, when I get there, I'll give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes. I can't really, you know, probably film too much because <clears throat> it's not live yet, you know, like can't spoil the surprise but um I'm really excited believe it or not I'm very I get camera shy sometimes like when I'm in front of other people and I know that you know it's a recording that's going to be used for something like I get tongue-tied I'm very articulate I love speaking like on panels and stuff like that but I just have to find my groove so Lord please just allow me to speak with poise and elegance articulation wisdom just allow me to just let the words roll off my tongue like oh Jesus name is let me get to this destination safely it is 4 7 p.m. my GPS says it's like 45 minutes away um, I don't 
have any like disposable straws and I brought my poppy with me, I wanted to get Starbucks, but thank God I didn't because I would not have had time for that. Um, so I wanna jam out to my music. And when I get there, I will let you guys see what's going on, okay? Studio. They just gave me some water. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for Tammy and AJ to get here so we can get mic'd up and get it started. But um, I'm really excited. Like this is. I'm good. Okay. Whenever you need to, I'll show you where it is. Okay. Um, I don't want to break the seal. Maybe oh, wait, did I do? Mike can hook it up, hook up to, to the can this big heavy thing. Hey. What's up? Hey. AJ. <laughs> Tammy, Tammy. Hey. No, I'm just recording like different stuff for my YouTube. I'm trying to become a blogger now. Okay. So, I've been doing a lot of research on people. Literally, they do the same shit I do every day. We go to the gym, we go to Target, clean up the house. I'm like. I was going to say, you know what? Something about me, a really expensive thing is like, this is when you start doing your thing. Just whip it out. I don't know how to what do is it? it? A Sony? A Canon? I don't know. I, tell you. I, know I bought my doing. camera a long time ago, like I think 2019, 2020. And then I, and that's the camera. Everyone, everyone was like, oh my god, that's the like that's like the vlogging camera. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey y'all, it's me at the boss, and I am on We Talk Back podcast with my girl Tam Bam and AJ Holiday 2.0. They invited me on the show. I'm so happy to be here. We're talking about everything from my perspective, plus size dating, being a boss, big girl fetishes, everything in between. So tune in, get the tea. That was cool. Perfect. That was cool. That was cool. Podcast. Flash, flash, flash. My first you podcast. Is it really? Yeah, people Why do you say that? People always ask me to be on and I was like, no. So, I'm back home. That was fun. Um, yeah, it was fun. I got to talk about myself and we talked about a lot of juicy topics, okay? So, yeah, by the time this vlog comes out the um the audio part will already be on iHeartRadio for we talk back podcast but the visual part will be out um probably around the time i drop the vlog like sometime next week so super excited for that um yeah, I wasn't as nervous as I was, y'all. It was so hot in there because you can't have the AC or fans on because um, you know, you'll be able to hear it in the audio. So 
Yeah, let me kind of adjust myself a little bit. But my homegirl wants to go out. Ooh, what did I just do? My homegirl wants to go out. I came home to like freshen up a little bit. Um, I am like, I'm not gonna say I'm a homebody these days. I guess it's because I just been so disciplined with going to the gym. Like since I started with my trainer and other endeavors that I have, you know, I started. But like, I really be in the bed early now. Like, like I'm asleep by 12.30 these days. And I keep waking up at like 6 o'clock in the morning for whatever reason. Um, what is she talking about? Okay, but um, yeah, so I guess I'm about to go meet up with my homegirl Brianna because she wants to go have hookah and said so we're going to celebrate. Um... Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, March something. I had a crazy night. Um, I wasn't even expecting to go out after I had left the filming of the podcast for We Talk Back. And then I went out with my friend Brianna and then we went to Octopus. They have free hookah free hookah if you sit at the bar my lips are so chapped um and then from there we went to experience then we went to magic city i should have took my ass home after octopus but i slept in so late i didn't go to sleep until like five o'clock in the morning and i slept in um i did not go to the gym today i just i'm on my cycle so i'm just super tired but um yeah so i reconnected with one of my old really good friends he was in town like we stopped talking for like two years it feels like just for really petty just petty little things but um we had went to kebabland just like to catch up and it was just really good to catch up because it's like life just really passes you by like so much has happened in my life um you know, in his life, like he had a baby, his son's like two, he's married now. So like, we were just catching up and it was cool. Got some food, which I need to put in the fridge. Kebab land is really good, it's in Buckhead. But yeah, I just get, I got salmon, rice, and I got a vegetable kebab. And they have like this really good garlic sauce. So I'm about to just put this in the fridge. I'll munch on that later. And then, from there, I wanted to go to Sephora. So I'll show y'all what I got from Sephora. Some of the stuff I wanted to buy, things that were on my wish list. I didn't know that Sephora carried a lot of the topical products that I like. Um, I got the Topical Exfoliating Body Serum. I've heard really good things about this. Um, I'm trying to figure out, is this even the one I was supposed to buy? Like, is this the one that helps with, I think, I don't know. I gotta go back and look and see. Because I saw somebody say this helped with, like, hyperpigmentation all over their body. This is the infamous Huda Huda Beauty lip pencil that I love. I can never find. It's in the shade Rich Brown can't even see that but this is my fave and then way came out with st bart's um in a body cream and a body cleanser i saw kyra post this and baby it's springtime now like this stuff smells so good like i love smelling like gourmand smells like shea coconut honey vanilla so i picked this up and you know a little special occasion lotion um, then from there, from there, y'all, I went to Georgetown Cupcake, 
praying that they had some red velvets in stock. And they did. I got two red velvets and a chocolate. I'm on my mince tea, so your girl is snacking. And then um, something I'll you know probably share more in depth, but I started therapy um, three weeks ago on March 13th. And my homework assignment is to start journaling. I stopped journaling um, a while ago, but I wanted to get back into it. So I went to Marshall's and I got this cute butterfly journal and I'm going to start journaling my homework. So yeah, it's just a cute little journal. Journaling helps with stillness and mindfulness. So y'all, I started this whole poppy, the poppy sodas with the, with the probiotics. Baby, I have to poop so bad right now. Two of these. And then, you know, drink your poppies. I bought eight poppies, but I really need to buy some more. So, yeah, my fridge is looking crazy. But um, I'm all about the gut health because I don't really feel like I poop like I'm supposed to. <sighs> this is so good. The raspberry rose, or raspberry rose. So yeah, I'm going to journal later on tonight. Um, it's just a chill day for me. I got invited to a birthday party today, so I don't know if me and Brianna are gonna go. I'm still kind of sluggish from yesterday. My wig needs some tender love and care. I, I really wanna wash this. This hair is so long. It's from I'm Hair. I've been working with them forever, since last April, it's been like a year. So, yeah. I'm about to just chill, eat my cupcake. Um. Probably do some laundry, update, shop me his closet. But yeah, around the house, just relaxing. I have so much I need to do this week. Con <sighs> Good morning. Psych, it's afternoon. Um, I had a really slow morning. Hopefully this vlog comes together very nicely. Um, there's just so much stuff that I do throughout the week. Today's Wednesday, March 29th. And um, yeah, I have to meet with my trainer at 5.30 tonight. Um, yeah, so I meet with my trainer this evening. Today, I'm just, just doing laundry. I'm just chilling at home. I showed you all the things I did yesterday. Like yesterday after I got off camera with you all, I literally took a shower and did like my skincare routine and I got in the bed and I was like on the phone with my friend for like two hours just just chatting. But um, this morning I was just checking on, I have a lot of packages that are arriving this week so I can't wait, wait to unbox all of that stuff with you all. Um, but yeah, I woke up, I think like around 11, took my probiotics, my Ollie. I'm not really hungry, believe it or not. I'm supposed to be going on a little dinner date later this evening, um, so we'll see how that unfolds. I was so tired yesterday because I went out on Monday. My body just can't hang like it used to. Um, but yeah, so right now it is like one o'clock. I'm waiting for my Fashion Nova package to get here because I have a new shipment um, for my new month's collaboration. And then I have like three other packages that I'm waiting for in the mail that should be here like tomorrow and Friday. I ordered some new sneakers for the gym. I'm super excited about these sneakers. Um, and then I have some other branded stuff that's arriving and I actually have something else I need to do for a brand. Um, I might go film that real quick in the gym where I live. Um, yeah, I think I can do that there. It'll be easy. So, yeah. Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. Hump day, middle of the week. Um, yeah. 
like yesterday i wish i would have like brought my camera with me so i could have took you all with me as i went in all the stores and stuff but as i'm getting a hang of this vlogging thing you know just getting more comfortable and all that good stuff um i'm still on this journey of learning how to edit and i'm super excited because i'm meeting up with a new influencer friend who's just going to kind of give me a few tips and tricks with final cut pro before i decide to just full out go ahead and buy it um so yeah that's that but yeah i'm excited for today as you see my drink is gone i'm sorry um poppy needs to sponsor me and stop playing but yeah nothing is really much going on i do need to go to the post office to drop off an order for a client who bought something from shop mia's closet um and i need to fold laundry but i made my bed <laughs> making my bed makes me feel productive in my day so that's that but yeah, as I get, as I start to do more stuff throughout the day, I'll holler at y'all. Okay, so I came to Linux Mall real quick um, because somebody wanted to buy me something, period, and asked me to meet them at Neiman's. I'm running really late. Because I wasn't, I had like a really bad headache just now, y'all. I don't know like where that came from. Um, but I ordered some sushi off of Uber Eats. And I was like, okay, maybe because I'm not hydrated. Like, maybe I need to drink some water. So, um, I got my water. I drank, like, half of this, like, very quickly. But, um, yeah, I'm here about to pull up at the mall. And then I meet my trainer in, like, an hour and 20 minutes at 5.30. So, I was like, you know what? Just go ahead and put your clothes on for the gym. But get cute to go inside the mall. Um, so that's what I did. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. My purse. <laughs> Normally, I put my bag on this little hook back here. <sighs> I just have so much going on right now. Like, I rarely get headaches. So the fact that my head is even hurting like this is beyond me. And I know it's about to be nowhere to fucking park on the Neiman side. And I don't wanna go in the garage cause garages just freak me out, especially at this mall. Um, but yeah, go in the mall, get my stuff, go to my physical, my physical, my personal training session. Um, and then, Go home and get changed because I have. Oh, there goes a fucking parking spot. Sorry, I gotta go. Sorry, pedestrians. Linux has just really changed the dynamics of like. Oh, wow. So everything opens right here. This is interesting. Does she have to open it for me? Oh, no, it opens by itself. I guess they did this because they want to control, you know, who be coming in and out the mall. Because they used to charge niggas to valet over here, which was stupid. And here's a parking spot right here. So what is y'all niggas even worried about?
um, I have absolutely no core strength. But like, guess what? We are going to get better. I never work out during this time because everyone gets off work and the gym is really busy, but that workout was good. I'm just really proud of myself. I'm not giving up with this shit. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go sit in the sauna for at least 10 minutes. <coughs> but I'll see y'all in the morning at the gym. Well, I'm gonna check back in with y'all when I get home and take a shower. Just got home from the gym. And I'm honestly really tired. My Fashion Nova packages just came. So I'm unboxing everything. I have a very weird process of how I do everything, but um, this is some of the stuff I got. Just shoes, accessories, just trying to like, you know, put looks together. I have another bag on the floor. So yeah, I got. Y'all, I look so gross and sweaty, but it's like, I have to do this before I get in the shower. I always feel like I have to at least just unpack everything. So when it's time to hang everything up, it's easy for me. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm not doing a try on by any means. I hope I can get my ass in this. This looks tiny. We'll see, but um, yeah, let me change this so y'all can see. So, I, um, the thing for this week is a lot of niggas I used to talk to in the past have just been creeping back in. And it is completely my fault for really just trying to give people second chances because when people show you who they are doesn't believe them my biggest thing is people disrupting my peace and wasting my time like my number one pet peeve is people who don't respect my time people who are late and people who have poor communication so communication and punctuality go hand in hand. If you're running late, just speak up and say that. Like, so once, once you play, once you play with my time, I really don't have nothing else to say to you. Like, and <clears throat> the girl that I was, you know, years ago, she's not going for none of that shit. Like, and I think that men, you know, they may have dated you or talked to you at some point in your life. And because they matured, they don't think that maybe you have. Like, I am very fortunate and I'm very blessed. And I've done a lot of working on myself to not be the person I was last year, to not be the person I was three years ago. I moved to Atlanta in 2019 and I'm just very happy of the place that I am in my life, you know? Like, like, come on now. I'm that girl. Like, don't, don't play with me. Hmm. Y'all, some of this stuff I be ordering, I be like, girl, this looks small. Can you fit this baby? <clears throat> okay, these are the pants that go with that. I need to wash my wig so bad and get it styled. So. Uh -huh.
want to make a little after gym meal. Some salmon. I'm going to roast the broccoli. Put a little bit of olive oil on it. So. So, y'all, I am literally just on my couch. Eating this quick air fryer meal. I put some cheese on my broccoli and put it in the microwave for a little bit. I should have let it melt in the air fryer, but I wasn't thinking. I had started washing my wig because I have to do content on Friday with like my assistant. Um, let me put this here so I want y'all to see me better. But yeah, so I have to do content on Friday and I think I'm gonna go hang out on Friday for a little bit, but I don't know how to do my own hair. So like curling and stuff like that. So I am gonna see about getting it styled tomorrow and I have another unit I can wear in the meantime. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's my plan. I have to train with Gabby in the morning at 8.30. And, yeah. So, tomorrow is gym... YouTube editing session. Oh, I need to go get my real hair washed. Like, take my braids out, get my hair washed, get a new braid down, because my hair looks crazy. I'm not even gonna let y'all see me like that. But, um, yeah. My week will probably start to really pick up Friday. Tomorrow on Friday. I thought I was gonna go out with this guy tonight, but I was like, you know what? I don't have the energy. Because... If y'all ain't coming at the level that I expect, just don't come at all. Like, how you gonna ask me out and then you ain't really, like, following up? So, hmm, men are weird. I saw this quote on Twitter and it says it says I'm at the calmest point in my life right now I don't react to anything I'm just staying in my own lane getting my life together vibing with myself and learning to be there for me period poo I'm not like flashing y'all damn I'm in like my after shower robe but yeah this is really just a place in my life right now where i am mm, that lemon was hitting this is a place in my life where i'm just really trying to get me together physically mentally and emotionally i want to be the best version of myself i'm about to be 35 very soon And I just owe it to myself to be the best me. I don't have no kids. I'm just trying to get me together. I don't want no drama. I just want to be happy and healthy. Right with God and paid. Mm-hmm. I put some lemon on, like I squeezed a little bit of lemon juice from a fresh lemon on the salmon. Like I like my salmon to be like medium well, like still very soft and flaky. But y'all roasting the vegetables in the air fryer, 
It gives the broccoli like that little crunch. Mm, 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 mm. So, yeah, I'm just chilling for the rest of the night. I'm just proud of myself for just going to the gym. I didn't go on Thursday. I mean, I didn't go on Tuesday, but I'll be in that joint tomorrow. All right, y'all. Well, I'm about to just wrap it up for the rest of the night. If anything exciting happens, I doubt it. I'll hit y'all up. My battery is about to die. So, let me go charge my battery. Good morning. Happy Thursday, it's March 30th. I just left the gym. We focused on legs and booty today. <sighs> At my gym, I never go get the little, the smoothies, but I got a mixed berry with vegan protein. And this is amazing. <sighs> so my body, just wakes me up every morning around 6 30 because I drink so much water before bed and I have to pee and then I just lay in the bed thinking that well like when I wake up I think that like I missed my alarm or something to go to the gym because my gym sessions are at are at 8 30 a.m I pick 8 30 so I can just you know start jump starting my day or whatever so I just laid in the bed for like an hour and then <clears throat> at 7 30 my google nest alarm goes off so I can start getting ready for the gym I just wash my face, put sunscreen on, and take my prebiotic or my probiotic, whatever this this vitamin I showed y'all was taking. I keep forgetting if it's pre or pro. Probiotic, because the Ollie drinks are a prebiotic. <coughs> and then I drink my chlorophyll water, and I'm out the door. I don't eat breakfast sometimes, so this is what I'm really trying to do is really get good with the proteins, with the protein shakes. But this little lady, this one she made was good, baby. Mm -hmm. So now I'm about to go run a few errands. I need to go to the post office to drop off a package. I need to pick up a package. Um, other things on my, t oh shit. I need to go get my hair washed. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So here's a little cheat code I be doing sometimes. I'll go to the Aveda school and I'll have them um, take out my braids, wash my hair and blow dry it. Mm hmm so that's what I want to do today that's exactly what I want to do today I do not know why it's traffic I thought people have traffic so they can I thought there's traffic before 9 because people have to get to work at 9 but in this Atlanta, you just never know. All right, y'all. Well, once I get done with my little errands, I guess I'll I'll link y'all. I'll link y'all. I'll check back in with my girls. I'll check back in with y'all when I figure out where I'm going to go get my hair done at because these braids I have I'm gonna show y'all so these braids are so bad like look at this they're so bad <clears throat> all right I hope I don't look too bright y'all I just popped on this little wig because I was tired of walking around my house looking crazy I don't really like this bob wig um you probably see it in my Instagram posts like the hair is very it's too silky and it doesn't stay like curled so it just keeps doing its own thing but anyways i'm wearing it for right now but um okay 
I just got a bunch of stuff in. Yo, so I was talking about these Nikes I ordered for the gym because my current sneakers for the gym, I had them for so long. They're literally falling apart. Like the soles are coming off the bottom of the shoe. So I ordered some Nike Metcon 4s. I just feel like now that I'm serious about the gym, I'm serious about what I look like when I go to the gym. I just want to have a better performing shoe because the shoe I had before, it wasn't like a shoe to even really be wearing to wear to the gym. It was a running shoe actually. So these, I've wanted these shoes for a year. I love these. Nike Metcon 4s. I ordered a 12 versus like an 11 and a half. I tried on 11 at Dick's. Um, but I ordered a 12 because I like to wear socks with my shoes because I don't want my shoes smelling like cheese. So, here they are. Super lightweight, bendable shoe. Perfect for running on the treadmill, cardio, just things inside the gym. I just got black and white because, you know, that's all that we need. Because sometimes I get annoyed with all those colors, but these are super cute. Super, super cute. And I'm very happy because my poor little feet in the gym will be supported. Like, and these, I got these from Nike.com. They were $120, no promo codes this time. But this is like my second time ordering from Nike this year because I ordered my other shoes I got um when I went to London from there and I absolutely love those those shoes were super comfortable this shoe is supposed to fit like it's like a tight type of fit uh, so let's see what this is feeling like but my other sneakers were actually an 11. oh yeah I got so much room I'm so happy I ordered the 12. Let me show y'all. Mm -hmm. Very, very happy. I got the 12 because if I wear my socks, I will be good to go. And another thing too, I do wear acrylic on my big toes. So, but this shoe is so comfortable. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I wish I had them for the gym today, but they look so good. Hold it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very cute. Very cute. We about to be in the gym like you, you, you. There's this brand on Amazon called Pumi. Or is it pronounced Pumie? I'm gonna figure out how to say it, but it's this brand right here. They make um, items that are kind of like skims. So, super excited. These are their, um, oh, these are the body suits. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this one is long sleeve. This one I think is just a tank body suit, but I'm super excited. And then this item is um, like a body shaper. Mm -hmm. Super excited. They sent me this dress to wear with the body shaper. So I'm excited about that. So, you know, to show you how it sucks you in. Lastly, I got a pair of freaking boots um, from this amazing brand called Flourish. Flourish. She sent me a little card. Mia, we appreciate you so much. We can't wait to see how you style your new Mina boots and then their Instagram. I'll put all their information below on Instagram and their TikTok. So sweet. I love handwritten notes. Um, but y'all, let's get into the boots real quick. Super fire. So. I love the little dust bag. 
But y'all, look at the boots. And it's still cold in Atlanta, so I, I'm, I'm gonna wear these. They're a size 12. I haven't even tried them on yet, but let me back up so y'all can really see the boots. Wow. It has that really cool heel, like all the Amina Mahdi shoes. It's like a flared heel. This is a size 12. Has a zipper on that side, and it's like ruching. So I think that these will fit my leg. We about to find out, baby, because I want to wear these. I want to, mom want to wear these. All right. Look how tall this is. Ooh. And the heel is not too tall. So that's a good sign. I mean, I love tall heels, but baby, we getting older. I'm all about the comfort. I'm really trying to see if these can fit because all 12s are not created equal. And this shoe is so tall. Oh, she fits. She fits. She fits. Oh, baby, she fits. <laughs> oh, she fits. Look at this shoe. Look at that. It looks so good. Wow, just wow. I am very, very, very pleased and happy with these. This shoe is fire. Yeah, but um, I'm about to relax and then when I get to the coffee shop, I will update you all when I get with Brene. My skin is just, ugh. My skin is just doing whatever it wants to do. So my cycle is basically over. And every time my cycle is over, I get like a little last minute breakout. Like, why would you want to do that to me? So like this side of my face is starting to clear up besides these little marks right here. And, um, so, let's see. This side of my face is just, I don't know. It's time for me to get a chemical peel. I think I just might need to just do that. <sighs> Y'all, I have my wig outside drying and I need to do something to it before tomorrow because I have to do content tomorrow. So, <sighs> pray for me. Happy Friday, it is like five o'clock. Y'all, my day, let me put y'all where y'all can see the girl. My day has not been going to plan at all. <sighs> so this was the plan on how the day was supposed to go. I was supposed to go to Aveda and get my hair washed and blow dried. After that, um, I was gonna get my hair braided, like, you know, get my hair braided so I can put my wig back on. The plan was to do that at 1230. So, Let's start with, I woke up late. My bed appointment was at 10.30. I woke up at 10.12. I was really up at like 8 o'clock in the morning and I went back to sleep. And I was just, you know how like when you're so tired, it's like you can't even like grab your phone, touch your phone to like even set the alarm, anything. Okay, cool. So I called, I'm just rambling. Anyways, I got there at 10.45. The girl who was like the student to do my hair, she just was not washing my hair how somebody should wash her hair. I'm like, girl, like scratch. So I was like, you know, scratch, like, and then she was like, we're gonna do the conditioner twice. And she was using hot water to wash the conditioner out. So I was just kind of annoyed. And I was just like, dang, is, is this really gonna be like, why my day is just gonna be like, you know, I didn't want that to be the, the I didn't want that to set the tone for my day but it did so everything regarding my hair gives me pure anxiety i don't know how to curl my hair everyone keeps saying oh, i'm gonna teach you i'm gonna teach you nobody ever wants to show me um so yeah i spend a lot of money like to get my hair styled so long story short i end up getting my hair braided i don't like it because i don't like how my braids are all loose like this in the back 
Like, baby, why do I have all these fucking braids? <clears throat> so that was wasted money to do that. Then I, I realized the only thing I ate today was a vitamin gummy and a poppy drink. So, I went to Kava. And I've been eating Kava for a while. Since Zoe's Kitchen, since Kava replaced it, Zoe's Kitchen, right? <clears throat> and the last time I went, they forgot to put the sauce in my food. This time I went, she barely gave me any sauce. I guess. All right, I'm back looking good. So I had to get get it together, y'all. Today was not about to take your girl out, okay? So did my hair. Um, I didn't get my hair done, y'all. Anybody, if somebody wants to show me how to curl my hair, email me, DM me, we can set up a class. But um, so my hair is like just in the raw texture. I'll link the hair, of course, in the description box. But this hair is from I'm Hair. I've been working with them for a year. But this hair is so nice. Like, y'all, I told you I washed my wig and I let it air dry on my balcony because it was that hot outside two days ago. But I just hot combed the top to make it flat. You know, got my baby hairs popping. Beat my face. Because, you know, the face is always a thing. Um, I never know which thing to look at. But, yeah, hair's done. Little outfit of the night. This is a little two piece outfit from Fashion Over Curve. It's like a cute little asymmetrical skirt. I mean, asymmetrical top, and it ties with a little maxi skirt. I wish I could get like a better angle for you all. And I'm in my kitchen. But, um, yeah. That's all right. So, about to go out and meet Chelsea. We're about to finally have our beloved hookah date that we said we were going to do. Um, so, yeah, I got my purse, my light. I really need to try to get a little picture tonight. <sighs> Today was supposed to be content day, and that just wasn't happening. It wasn't happening at all. So... Yeah, it wasn't happening. I got some cute flats just for later, just in case I change. There's so many lights in my house. This light makes me feel, ew, like real yellow. But, um, okay, so, wow. Oh, right here's good. All right, hair did, outfit done. I wanna show y'all a better view of my fit, if we can do that. So, I'm not wearing these Dior slides. I'm just putting them on to walk to the car. So yeah, this is super cute. Jim has the girl looking snizzy. I got this little bag. You know who has really cute bags? Shein, and they have really good accessories as well. So, this is my OT, OOTN outfit of the night. <laughs> Yeah. 